Easy people, nice things here. Um, this is going to be the first of a couple of theory board workflow examples. I'm going to be using the Akai Force as the thing that I'm using to do this through, but it'll be the same on any door that you want to use, Fruity Loops, Reason, Cubase, Ableton Live, whatever. Really, I just use this because it's self-contained and I, I quite like it. A um, couple of things I think I should say. I'm going to make these really, really skeleton-like. And what I mean by skeleton is just the basics because I know I could get lost in the weeds. And if I want to, if I did a really advanced track, it's not going to take me the time it's going to take me to do the skeleton. If somebody really wants me to do some mad advanced stuff, then I'll do that if I get more than 20 comments on this then it means that it's worth me sitting and taking some time to do this otherwise i'm just going to do skeleton ones and you get the gist um i'll probably because it's the nature of me i'll probably give tips as i'm going along which might not be theory ball tips it's just observations about i've learned about the stuff what i do um the other thing if anybody asks um, I'm just going to be using this in its basic form. So I'm not going to be using our arpeggiator. And the reason why is because it's broken. Um, and it's been broken since this machine started. Um, and I, I, I'm just so frustrated, angry about it that I'm ranting on this, which has got nothing to do with the archive force. And I really hope they'll fix it because the idea is good, but it just doesn't work properly at all. So, um, anything else? Oh yeah, I've linked this through to um, Loot Cloud so that I can get some vocally things together. Um, and um, also I've just done a basic layout of drums and chord things and that lot just so that I'll save time um, loading them up. So um, my first one, I'm going to try and do some kind of neo soul -y thing because I'm a big fan of soul and... Um, and again, it's going to be off the cuff just to show how quick you can get something together with this. Um, what I like to do is I like to have some kind of something to kind of leap from. So I don't like going in with a blank thing. I, I like having something to leap from because I come from hip hop. So I like the idea of samples and then building on a sample, even if I take the sample away. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to find something, either some drums, which, which a drum loop, some kind of neo soli drum loop, or a guitar or something, I don't know, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, a guitar. I'm just going to, I've just thought about it then. I'm going to find a guitar. Uh, this song is going to be in G minor for no particular reason except that I just said, yeah, I'll go with G for some reason. So let me see if I can find a guitar. So I might have to EQ, the, change the EQ. I mean, change the pitch of this guitar, but let's see, what's that like? Hmm. It's not really doing much, but what else is there? I don't know. I'll try one more thing, because I'm not feeling that. Um, is there a guitar in here? Right. Is there a guitar? All right, I'll go with that because like I said, I could be here all day. So that guitar is going to be the center and thing of what I'm doing. All right, so let's find some chords. Like I said, if I didn't say I'm using G minor, not for any particular reason. I didn't even, what, what is this, this guitar? Uh, well, the guitar, I don't know. The loops, what I've took this off are in A minor. So let's see what happens now. So G minor, I'm going to use. So let me go to chords. So let's see. That sounds all right. Okay. No. 
that'll do. Yeah. And what I've also done is I've got um, a sustain pedal, so I'm going to use that as well. So let's see. Okay then, here we go. All right, all right. So it's it's. Do you know what? I was in a different beat. Interesting. Let's see what happens here anyway, because I was in a totally different beat. So let's try. do that again I press the wrong chords as well but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the chords that I made a mistake on and see what happens let's see so So we'll play over that first chord again. Yeah, good lord. No. Oh, yeah, there's no bass in that. Let me add the bass. Do you know what? I'll play a bass in. I'll play a bass in. So. Again, what's good about this is I don't have to worry about finding out what, what the notes will work with this chord are because they're all here. Yeah, that's the one I work. up a bit more so see, see what other notes have we got here so something else yeah something else. Da, that'll do so da, da. so I'm gonna play them round and then just add them in da, da. so we'll have This first chord. Maybe both of them. Yeah, this might be a bit too thick, but we'll see. Yeah. 
something. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Yeah. That's it. So I can go to the scales now if I want, maybe. There we go. So don't necessarily have to just use the chords, I've also got the scales. And then maybe I'll have that higher, so I'll go here, make that higher. Yeah, that'll work for me. So now I've got that. Let's add some drums in. I'll just add some good saw some like. Yeah, something like that. Put a bit of swing into that. So put a bit of swing into there. So let's go to the bass now. So the thing about the bass, what's cool is what I really like about this is I, I can just press a chord and I've got all my bass notes there for each of these chords, fingers of the chord. And I don't have to do it all in one go. As I always show you know, in my tutorials, never do something in one go, do it in bits. Make life easier for yourself. So I was going to hum a bass, but I'm going to just see what comes up. So let's see. So, right. So need to bring that back down to um, normal. So that, go that. So bring it back to chords again. Yeah, I like that. Duh, duh, duh. So. No, maybe. That's it, that's where it wants to come in. So we're gonna go uh, something, 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 then something, 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 and so let's see what, what do I want as, as a beginning. Something there. All right, we'll have that. We'll record that in like that. And then go to the next chord. Mm. 
Maybe that. I don't know. Yeah, that's got a groove to it. Totally forgot what I was meant to play then. So do we just need something for the end now? Um so it was leave us out with it. Maybe back up again. Them two. Da 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 da. So there. So we'll go to the scale. That's it. I think so. I think anyway. I don't know. I might be wrong. totally played the wrong notes in the wrong order but I didn't mind that yeah I think I like that so I'll do that instead so I'm just using all chords except for one what was in the scale right so what else have I got here? So I've got some neo chords, my neo chord thing. So, let's try. so I want them higher. So I'm gonna press that. In fact, do you know what I'll do as well? So far, I've just been playing all of these, no inversions or anything. So let's see what a first inversion might be like first. Do you know what? I can't even remember the cards I play. I think I did play these, didn't I? Something like that. The thing, what's great is um, these will all work together. So something in here will work. I, I totally forgot what cards. I should have remembered the colours, but I wasn't paying attention. So if I'd have said red, green, green, blue, sometimes it's good to just write them down. So you go middle green, I don't know, top red, middle yellow or something like that, and then you can remember them. I wasn't paying attention, like I say, because um, I'm just doing this off the cuff and try to keep this low. So I'm going to try and finish this off quickly now by adding something here. So I've gone I've, I've gone to first inversion here, and what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to bring that up. So I'm going to bring that up to um, and add that in. So now I've got two of them chords. So let, let's see what we add. Maybe even bring the bass note into there. So that's got a bit of funk to it. Well, that first one. No, that's not it, but I don't mind that. Maybe, oh! So I just need one. Let's see if I can do it all in here. That's that. Oh, that might be it. Oh, there was more chords. Also, the... Quite similar, interesting. All right, so what I've got is left blue, middle, top, that, that. So that's how I remember it. Left blue, green, top green. Let's see. We'll just go for it. We'll go for it. It's gonna either work or not. One more, one more down. So da 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 da. So da. So let's see da. What's da? Da da. So maybe 
Maybe this again, blue, maybe. I, I can hear it. So now we've got to an interesting thing where I can hear something and now I just need to search it down. It might be an E. Could be an E. Let's see. So I want the the see if it's a the so let's da, da. so it's a G oh maybe it's that da, da, da. maybe that's it it might be that simple as that. Okay, so what I might do, change that and make it the base lower. So there, maybe spread it more, maybe? No, no. A low? No. Try a guitar one? No. That would probably work maybe lower. So, um, it's no, I, I actually preferred it. So, we'll go back to them, and then we have that first on the first. Let's see. Okay, like that. Stop this now. So where am I? My loop cloud. Here it is. There it is. So let's go through it. I've set it to G. Um, what I should do, maybe I don't know. I'll just go up and down and see until something. It's working properly now as well. If you wanna love me, if you wanna love me. And what's quite cool is you can use a loop card to give you some ideas. Something cup of tea, yeah. So all right, that was all right. That wasn't too bad, I guess. So that's how quick you can get something together. If you notice, I didn't have to be guessing that stuff, and the way I was guessing that stuff, it was all gelling together. So again, this is advantageous because I don't have to go oh, oh this that and that. And I mean, I, I, I could have added more to that. Well, I could have added a goop, a goop, a, a loop 
um, a percussion loop, bongos or something like that and started filling it out from there. But I mean, I thought that was relatively quick and, uh, and, it, and to me, it feels soulfully. And, yeah, and it's got a groove to it. Um, it's a bit more funk than it is Neo Soul, but I don't know, horses, courses, and it's all subjective. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful and catch me again where I'll try another workflow. And the great thing is I don't even have to save this. Just like the rest of my stuff, anything you see on here, I don't bother saving because again, if you get the right equipment for you, for you, then it all becomes fluid. And for me, I think this theory board or things like it are helpful for me. Don't get me wrong. For example, on the Akai Force, a lot of this could be done on the Akai Force because the Akai Force has got some really clever things in the note config. And, and you could use Scalar and different things like that. But would it have come together this fast? For me, absolutely not, really. And I think I'm not too bad. But I mean... I would have probably just got frustrated and maybe changed the tune and whatever. So, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I've gone on, I've got, I've gone into my waffling. So I hope this has been helpful and um, I'll catch you on the next one. And until then, peace.